All right, uh, my name is Matt. I run streamersflyshop.com. Right now, I'd like to uh, demonstrate how I install the X side cones. This is a 2 watt hook, it's a 90 degree bend jig hook. This is an extra large cross eyed cone from Hairline. It has uh, recessed pockets where the eye dome eye stickers can be installed, and these are the super pearl eyes. Also, like to show how the uh, or what the uh, the aluminum eyes look like. These are uh, Hairline's deep sea eyes. They are an aluminum eye. This is the extra large. You can see the super pearl eye. You can see how reflective that eye is here. There's a lot of different reflective properties that come with that eye. That was the uh, large. This is the medium, which is a little bit smaller. You can see the difference there. And that's on a 90 degree bend 2 watt jig hook. So first I'd like to show how to install the the extra large cone from Hairline. First I'm going to take some sandpaper and I'm going to tear off a small chunk of sandpaper and I'm going to, where this cone is going to sit, I'm going to essentially take some of the shine off of the, the hook there. Kind of rough up that surface. This will give my attachment, my dubbing, something to glue to when I glue everything together here and that'll help to keep the eye and the, and the cone in, in place. Alright, so what I'd like to do is basically make a ball of dubbing that I can then take this cone and you can see that this eye is so big. I'm going to slide it right over the front. The hole in that eye is so large that I can literally slide it over the front. So what I'm going to do is take some dubbing. In this case I've got just some, some bunny fur. I'm going to pull off just a pinch of that. I'm going to spin it onto my, my thread. And then I'm just going to basically make a ball of dubbing that I can set that eye onto to give it some resistance. Apply some glue to. I prefer to use a natural dubbing. I find that natural fibers adhere themselves to the super glue better than synthetic fibers. Now we'll take that eye, shove it over, get it into place there, and that'll help to hold it. And then I'll take and roll it over, take some Zappa Gap or super glue. And I'm basically going to saturate all of that dubbing with a drop of super glue. This will basically fill that cone with super glue, adhering to where I've sanded the surface of the hook, adhering to the inside of the cone, and help to hold all of that in place. And then what I'll do is take and hang that, that hook upside down. Last step that I'm going to make is basically take and put two-part epoxy and you can see that I've added two-part epoxy to the front of this. Uh, it's just a five minute two-part epoxy. A couple of little drop on there. But that'll basically hold that cone securely in place so it won't slide off the end of the hook and up onto your line. And uh, you know, one other uh, suggestion that I have with these cones is with the super glue, something that you normally don't notice on smaller hook or smaller cones is that the super glue actually leaves a film on the surface of the cones. So once I've gotten everything all done and I'm ready to use the hook, I'll take uh, just paper towel, nail polish remover, uh, I'll saturate the paper towel and basically just buff and shine that cone from any of the hazing that comes from the super, from the super glue. So something you'll, uh, you'll start to notice there. Now on the, uh, the medium sized excise cone, uh, the hole still is a very large hole, but it's not big enough to slide over most eyes. So what I'll do is I'll put it on like a normal normal cone, and you can see it's very loose on there. The reason they've used such a large hole like that is that way you can get it over the really large bends on some of these bigger 4 out and 5 out hooks. So we're going to treat this hook pretty much the same way. I'm going to take that sandpaper again. 
take some of the shine off of the end of that hook, slide my cone down into place, and basically we're going to do the same thing with the dubbing, just from a different angle. So I'm going to take and attach my thread, take some of that bunny fur, spin it on. You can use any natural dubbing that you want. I just have chunks of bunny fur that lay around the house and I just use them up this this way so that way uh, I don't waste anything, right? Take that dubbing ball, basically wrap it into the back of the cone, whip finish, Once you've got that whip finished, I'm going to take a pair of needle nose pliers and essentially slide them down the shaft, pushing all of that dubbing back into that cone. When you cram it in there, this head's already going to be tied to that point. So once you have that lined up with the uh, hook eye, again, we'll hang them vertically, take our zapper gap. Saturate that dubbing with Zappa Gap. Once that's done and in place, then uh, we'll hang that vertically as well and allow that to dry. I'll allow these to dry for mm, about 12 hours hanging, and that uh, that way, you know, the majority of the fume is the the Zappa Gap cures. The majority of the fumes will escape naturally and won't haze up real bad. If you take these and throw them in a box right away you're going to have a, a very cloudy white film that hazes everything up. Um, again, I use the Super Pearl Eye. This is the uh, 3 8 and these are available on the website. Uh, there's also a small size excise cone available. Uh, it does have the same pockets drilled in it as the other one, just uses a smaller eye. And this cone installs like a regular cone. This is actually the same size as a medium brass cone. So again, uh, that's how we install the excise cones.